everybody, I'm Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Billisa. Welcome to our channel. I know in the past I have done videos showing you that I use Dollar Tree nails and I love them. But I don't think I've ever shown you the entire process, how I put them on, how easy they are from start to finish. So that's what I'm going to show you today. One of the number one reasons I wanted to show you this is because everyone has stay at home orders all of the nail salons and things like that are closed. So people aren't able to go get their nails done. This is a really quick and easy way for you to do your nails at home and the Dollar Tree is still open. It's only a dollar plus tax for the pack of nails and a dollar plus tax for the glue. It is so reasonable. Let's get started. There are all types of choices. So. They have just a beautiful um, French manicure available. They have solid colors, and these are actually green that glow in the dark. And um, these are just some solid colors that, is, if you look on the package, there's short and medium length, so you can also choose the length that you want. And they also have designs on them. So I'm gonna choose this pack that has designs on them because these are really pretty, and they look really fun. And I'm looking for something really fun right now while we're stuck at home. I'm going to get them open and I'm going to just lay them out here on my mirror and start sizing them. So I'm going to start with my pinkies and I'm just going to find the two smallest nails and I'm going to just start lining them up. So that one fits perfectly. And the next smallest one is right here. And that one's just a little bit bigger. So you have to put them on, see how they're going to fit and give them a trim ahead of time so that you know they're going to go on nice, smooth, quick, and easy. So I'm just going to give this one a little trim. And that is perfect. So now I'm going to work my way in from the pinkies, which means next up I have my ring finger. Just needs a little trim on the edges. I just have some little scissors. If you prefer, of course, you can use nail clippers, um, but I just like these little scissors that I have. They work really easy and um, trim really well. And this is next. That's pretty good, but I am gonna just give it a little snip off the edge because you want to make sure they fit your nails perfectly so that they glue on smooth and even. Next up, I have my middle finger and that is a pretty close fit, but again, I'm just going to trim it to make sure it is a perfect fit. I want them to look nice. I want them to look like I went and got my nails done, even though I just did them in my home. All right, this one just barely needs a trim. Some of them, when you try them, some of them might not need trimmed at all, and some of them might need more trimming than others. So just give them a test. I do this ahead of time because I want all of them to be trimmed and ready to go before I start gluing. I don't want to have to do any trimming while I'm gluing them on. All right, let's see how that lines up. Perfect. So. After, once I trim them, I just put them on my nail and I just make sure that it just fully covers my natural nail, but doesn't go over onto my skin at all. And now I have my thumbs. Get these trimmed up. I love these. I get compliments on them all the time. People are always asking me where I got my nails done, telling me how nice they look. And when I tell them, that I did them myself and bought them from the Dollar Tree, they cannot believe it. They are so surprised. And so that makes me feel really good. Like obviously I've done a good job, but it also makes me feel good because I didn't spend 20 to $30 to go get my nails done. I spent, uh, with glue and all, less than $2.50 every time I wanna put them on. And I will tell you, they last for me about a week, sometimes a little bit longer even. Yes, every once in a while if I'm working in the yard or something like that, I'll lose one and I just come in, glue it back on, 
It takes seconds, literally. So now I'm ready to glue these on. There are a couple of options at my Dollar Tree anyway. Um, I like the Sassy and Chic, and there's a bigger bottle, and then there's also these little skinny bottles, and they have this little um, piece that they can sit in so that they stand up and don't fall over. They both work similar, but I personally like the bigger bottle better. I feel like the glue comes out more evenly and smoothly, so this is my choice. Once again, when gluing, I start with my pinkies, and I'm going to start with my left pinky and then go to my right pinky and I'm just gonna work back and forth putting on one nail at a time on each hand. I find that that works the best for me because I then don't have one hand totally done and I'm trying to put the other hand or the other nails on the other hand with nails that are still somewhat trying to dry. So this works the best for me. I also make sure I have a little towel right next to me so that I can dry off any extra glue that comes out, but you wanna make sure that you fully cover the nail with glue so that the nail, uh, the false nail adheres completely. You don't want any water or anything getting in under there because first of all, it's not good for the water to sit under there, but also that is going to cause your nails to come off. So the better adhered they are, the better they're gonna stay on. I will hold them on for about 20 to 30 seconds. I just sit and kind of count and hold them on here to make sure that they have a really, really good connection, we'll call it. And then I switch back to this one and make sure that I push it down a little bit and back to this pinky and push it down. So now I'm ready to move on to my ring finger. And again, I'm gonna start with my left hand Cover the nail completely. Put the nail on and hold it. You wanna make sure that you put the nail all the way down to your nail bed and not over your skin. Make sure that it just butts right up to it. That is going to make it look the most natural. All right, and now I'm gonna to head to my other ring finger here. and hold that one down, same thing. I have been doing these now for a couple of years. So I've found, I, or I've tried different ways over the year, the last couple of years that I've been using these nails. And um, putting them on this way I've found, like I said, is the best and the easiest. And starting with my pinky, I feel like I use my pointer finger and my thumbs the most and so that leaves them without nails on them the longest until the very end, just because I wanna make sure that I can put as much pressure and attention on them and I don't want to use nails that are freshly put on and possibly cause them to come off more easily in the future. All right, on to the middle finger now and I'm gonna hold it down. Make sure that it has a good connection. The other thing about going to a nail salon some people love it. Some people love spending the afternoon going and getting their nails done. And for some reason, it is just not something that I have ever really liked. Usually you have to wait to be seen. Then you have to sit in the chair for, sometimes it can be a couple of hours before your nails are done. This is so much quicker as you are clearly going to see because I'm going to have these nails on in just about 10 minutes, a little bit longer from the beginning of this video to get them trimmed, but it really only takes about 10 minutes if I'm not explaining what I'm doing to take the nails out, trim them, put them on and move on with my day. So even when the nail salons are open, this is my preference. And it's so much more reasonably priced. All right, so now my next pointer finger and then I just have to move on to my thumbs and we're done with this set of nails. So you can, I have found some nails, you can buy nails anywhere. You can buy nails at Target, Rite Aid, 99 cent store, Walmart, they sell nails everywhere. 
You can even buy them on Amazon or eBay if you don't want to leave your house right now. But the price is the difference. So obviously at the Dollar Tree, I get them for a dollar a pack. If you buy nails at Target, Walmart, places like that, usually the cheapest pack is around $5.99 unless they have some on clearance for some reason. So while it's still less expensive than going to the nail salon, it's more expensive than the Dollar Tree. I like being able to change my nails as often as I want. And um, especially if we have like um, a wedding to go to or something, I wanna be able to change my nails to match my dress and I don't have to worry about the cost because I buy my nails from the Dollar Tree. I can change them as often as I want and it's still really, really reasonable. All right, so I just put on my last thumb. I'm just gonna hold it down and make sure it adheres well. And then I'm just gonna kinda go back and just double check them all. Make sure they all have a good connection and they've all glued on well. They do all feel really well and secure. I find that a bottle of glue I can use for about 20 sets of nails, sometimes more, it just kinda depends. And then these nice little skinny ones, I'll usually take in my purse so that if I'm out and about and something happens and one is loose or I happen to um, bump one off doing something, I'm able to just go into the bathroom wherever I'm at, or I don't even have to, but usually I'll go into the bathroom just at the sink, glue on the nail that I lost, and it's fixed. All right, so here's my beautiful set of nails. That quickly, I got them on. <laughs> they are amazing, and this is a really fun set. I really, really like these. Keep this in mind if you are looking to fix your nails up right now while you're stuck at home. Works great for me, and I'm sure it would work great for you as well. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe.